does everybody have intuition? And what is intuition actually? That's the subject for this video. Hi, I'm Conrad Roth, founder of the Greater Human Potential Academy, where we teach people how to develop and how to use the hidden possibilities of the human mind. So what is intuition actually? Intuition is the process through which information travels from the subconscious and sometimes even the collective unconscious into the conscious mind. So intuition is a process. So it's not a vague feeling. It's not a gut feeling. It's also not the accumulation of the five senses. It's this process through which unconscious information intuitive information and sometimes even psychic information travels into the conscious mind. So these things happen in the subconscious part of our mind. That means they are somewhat in the background. So why do some people have more intuition or seem to be able to access the intuition easier than other people? Well, the reason is because intuition happens in the background. So not everybody has the mental bandwidth, for instance, if they are under stress. Or not everybody has the same sensitivity to feel these things happening in the background of their mind and their body. So that's the first thing. Other people just have a talent, are more talented to be aware of these things. But in any case, it's something that can be developed. It's something that can be trained. But some people have it like naturally, are, are naturally more able to detect this information going on in the background or are just more aware of it. And other people might need to do some training to have that develop or need to go through some experiences to become aware of these things going on in the background of the mind. But it is there anyway. Like, for example, if you look at the Aboriginals, for example, they have, have like less like modern stuff going on in their mind. And when they are in touch with nature, there's already this thing happening. When people go into nature, they tend to go into a state where they develop more of the alpha brainwaves, so this means the brainwaves actually that are more linked to the, the top of the subconscious mind. So just being in touch with nature already stimulates um, your mind to function at a level where you're more easy uh, in touch with, with things from the subconscious mind. So for example, Aboriginals, they are able to detect or to know things through intuition um, just because how they use their mind or because they're in touch with nature and have less of these things going on in their mind that like in a modern society is um, keeping people their minds busy. Okay. Other example is the time when the English came to India as a colony at that time they noticed that people from remote areas were able to have experiences or, or some ev events that were happening there. And then other people in, in areas very far away from there were aware of these events or were aware of this news um, before it was like in any type of mass media or, or like even telephones or anything, they noticed this effect so much that they called it like the Indian telegraph. But it was like um, this connection between the people that uh, combined with them being aware more of these things in the background of the mind, in the subconscious, that allowed them to, telep to use telepathy to send uh, information around or just to be aware of certain things through telepathy, um, so naturally. 
not even taking account of people developing these abilities through yogic exercises or something, um, but just naturally because they use their mind in a different way where they're more aware, more in tune with the things going on in the background of the mind and intuition is there. So why do some people find it difficult to reach their intuition? That can be, for example, because they're under stress, so their mental bandwidth is limited, and then it's much more difficult to become aware of the things going on in the background of your mind. Or it can be that they're so focused on using one part of their brain that they don't use the other functions of the brain so much that are more linked to intuitive processes. So you have that going on as well. But anyway, intuition is something that's there in each and every one of us that's in the background of our mind at the subconscious level. And each and every one of us can learn how to tap into that source of knowledge so what's the next step? The next step is to subscribe to this channel and then you will be the first to be notified when my next video is ready for you.